hello guys so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to cut the facing for your outfit if you do not want to use bias to turn the neck or you just don't want to use anything else to turn the neck if you want a neat finish as well like a really neat finish where your seam doesn't show in front of the outfit i would recommend you use facing so the first thing we do is to fold the fabric in two like this And then you place this one, you place the facing behind and put this on top. So now what I like to do is to measure the amount of fabric I need. So I know that I just want my facing to be 3 inches. I like 3 inches because it just makes it really neat and it doesn't make my neckline to be bulky. So what I have here is far more than what I need. So I'm going to move... I'm going to place my tape here and then move it to the end of the fabric here. Then I mark here and I adjust my fabric again. I am a huge fan of um, managing your fabric using the right amount of fabric you need just to avoid waste, just to avoid wasting fabric. So now I have the amount of fabric I need. So I'm going to place this. I'm going to place this here. And I'm going to pin it. I'm going to pin it down just like this. And then I flip it over. I flip it over like this. So what I can see here now is the back. Let me come right back to how I was before. Great. So I'm just going to place my tip. This is where my shoulder is. So I'm just going to place my tip here and mark three. I'm going to do that here as well. Three. So you can see my mark here. So I'm going to cut this out. Then I'm going to flip this over again and then cut out the excess that is on the neckline. So now we have our facing. This is the facing for your outfit and this is the outfit itself. What I usually do just so that my placement can be really right is I notch this part. So when I open this up, when I open this up, you can see that I have my notch here and then I mark the back of the fabric so I don't mix it up. I mark here as well so now when you need to join your facing to your fabric you place your facing like this make sure that both notches that you have made are meeting each other like this like this then you sew across like so you sew across and then you notch the neckline so that it is foldable so when you turn it over it still looks clean and fresh you top stitch and your facing is nicely attached thank you so much guys for watching please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video if it helped you or if you know anybody who needs this video invite your friends to subscribe to the channel as well thank you bye